As people in Israel prepare for what could be potentially a very long battle, some people were fortunate enough to barely make it out of that country before the airports were shut down, and they are now sharing their experience. Fox 5's Misha Bono spoke with a local couple who got on one of those last flights out of Tel Aviv, and Misha joins us now live from San Diego State with the latest there and with that part of the story. Misha. Yeah, hi, Andrew. Good evening. We're actually at San Diego State at the Halil House. This is a student center for uh, Jewish students here. This was a massive showing, though, a rally, a peace walk. Hundreds of people here carrying the uh, Israeli flag and signs, walking to the center of school. They just returned now back to the center here where they're having a moment of silence. Meantime, this morning, I talked to this family, so lucky that they got out just in the nick of time, and they describe when they heard the bomb starting. Saturday morning in Tel Aviv was gorgeous. We are you know, looking at the beach. The beach is beautiful. People are still running, riding bikes, you know, first thing in the morning, seven in the morning here. Alan and Natalie Shafran of Carlsbad were two days into their nine day vacation in Israel, staying at a beachfront hotel when they got a call from a family member who lives there, alerting them to what was to come and advising them to get to the airport fast. We start hearing the missiles, the bombs. We start hearing what we think was the Iron Dome. As we're packing, we're hearing the loudspeakers as Israel set up with security, uh, telling everybody like, this is serious, get off the beaches immediately, take your kids, everyone go inside. They believe that was the first barrage of missiles shot by Hamas terrorists out of Gaza, which is about 40 miles away from Tel Aviv. I, at that point, I was panicked because you could, you could feel I mean, you could feel the rockets. You could feel you could feel the hotel shaking. Sadly, Israelis are used to the sirens and alert system, the protection of the famous Iron Dome. They take a beat, then they move on with their lives. But this, they say, was dramatically different. This is serious. This is a different deal. We are being attacked. We were throwing everything together at that point, and I, I knew it, it was time to go. It was sad at that point because we have family there. And we wanted to stay. I, there was part of us that I wanted to stay. It was hard to leave. Um, but we knew we needed to. And they think they got the last two seats on a plane bound for Athens, leaving in a couple of hours just as the airport shut down. By this time, the attack is in full swing. In the chaos, they barely made it to the airport when they realized just how lucky they were. It was starting to escalate. And we knew it was getting serious. We saw other... Uh, mothers, you know, with their children getting on the flight, other Israeli mothers, and, and we were just putting two and two together. We talked to a couple that, you know, you know, they're being sent for safety. The husbands are about to go fight. In those early hours, their two nephews, one with young children, had already been called up, drafted to fight. And they were learning of the atrocities on the ground, kidnappings and innocent lives lost. There are a lot of people missing right now um, that we're yet to find out how this is handled and the thoughts of what's happening to them and the situations that they're in is is unbearable at times. And certainly you can uh, hear his emotion. It was the same thing talking to folks here again. Hundreds of students, parents, young children, grandparents, all walking peacefully to the center of school here at San Diego State, showing support for Israel. Israel is a very small country. And uh, that region, when you talk to people who have been there several times, they say people know Everyone sort of knows everyone. Word spreads very quickly, and it was the same thing here. Everyone here knows someone who is impacted by this. So just a, um, an ongoing devastating situation that um, we're all continuing to deal with. We are live at San Diego State. Misha Bono, Fox 5 News.